Friends and subscribers, it is Diwala season, the holiday season in India, and that means gold. But this year, not much of a festival season in India as gold runs dry. Many dealers reporting that they don't have uh, the gold that they had in the past, obviously. And they're spending more time avoiding phone calls than they are actually filling orders. Now this is significant because um, right now in India, gold premiums have hit a record high, 8% higher than spot price. And that premium will go up from here uh, as the government tries to uh, curb gold investing and uh, eyeing gold in ruins in India to actually uh, help with their currency problems and their economic wo woes. And there's a lot of controversy of the, over that uh, to go into these ancient temples and sites and dig for gold to help prop up your economy. Not a good sign, uh, my friends. Uh, India digs for $40 billion gold bonanza based on holy man's dreams. Basically, they're scouring India to find more gold to prop up the economy. Now, when I was in Hong Kong, flying in and out of Hong Kong, what I noticed was this. There were a lot of Indian tourists, and a lot of them were women, and they were wearing the bangle on their wrist. They were going into Hong Kong and they were buying gold and wearing it and coming back into India as jewelry. So that they would not be taxed or banned coming into India. So in some cases, they're going to Hong Kong to get the lowest price that they can find and the biggest selection. And then they're coming back into India wearing it as if it was a jewelry that they left India with, therefore avoiding any kind of confiscation or tax. And in, in one instance, when I was on a plane uh, coming uh, out, or uh, actually into Hong Kong, um, more than half the plane were, were Indian uh, tourists. And that's right before the uh, holiday season. And so uh, regardless of what central governments do to try to curve gold investment, we will find a way to own real assets, which is uh, gold, silver, and other commodities. Uh, taxes, premiums are not going to combat the problem because where there's a will, there's a way, and uh, we're going to see uh, spikes in gold coming up here now through the end of 2014 that are going to make people's mind boggle. That is a given. The physical market is going to completely become untethered from the paper games that the bankers are playing. And uh, plane loads of Indian tourists into Hong Kong are just one example of the ravishing demand for physical precious metals.